Hello everyone and welcome back to Untamed Life of a Cougar and we are here with where is oh there's Ginger I was like why do we only have two we were here we are here with our cubs and thus far things seem to be going fairly well this is likely going to be our last episode I'm not 100% positive but it does seem probable I I don't think we have too much left and so we're definitely in the home stretch. If not this one, I'm pretty sure we're only going to uh, have a little bit more of the next, or in the next episode. So this is definitely getting close to the end. And so far, so good. We've actually managed to survive almost through the entire thing here. Uh, now that's not to say things can't change. Uh, in this game, things can go south very rapidly. So we still need to be very wary, and especially with all these predators showing up. But, um, oh no, oh no, oh, it's hunters, okay, um, this is bad, this is very, very bad, right as I'm saying, oh no, oh no, okay, is this a hunter? It, what is it? No, I can't see what's going on, okay, well, we gotta turn targeting mode on, that's what's going on, oh, there was a, it's a fox, okay, where are the hunters? I think they're, okay, I gotta get back down because there's more predators right by the den, and, uh, okay, there's a deer. All right, what's further this way? Is that the hunters? All right, what's going on this way? There's, I think the hunters are the ones that are gathered around the tree. So, that's a deer. <laughs> we don't need to worry about the deer, thankfully. Let's keep running. We can go this way. And there's something right here. I think it might even, they might even be coming down the slope, actually. So, we'll have to see. I don't know what it is. Is it a hunting dog? It might be hunting dogs. Oh, it's a hunter! It is actually a hunter! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, we could die! We could die! We might die! Oh my goodness, you guys, this is not good! Oh, this is not good! Okay, take down the hunting dogs. We've got to get to the actual other hunter. Oh, it's wolves! Oh my gosh! Okay, so it's hunters and wolves fighting each other right here holy cow oh we've got we've got we've got an enemy right here we've got a wolf attacking us holy moly you guys that's insane i don't know that i've ever seen anything like this well i think maybe once or twice i have uh oh i've got to get back because are you trying to fight what are you're not trying to fight this guy are you i'm gonna take him out so you don't um it's a moose okay well, that way they won't try to fight the uh, the dangerous uh, prey there. But let's go ahead and we'll grab one of these carcasses. We'll bring it back. I'm just unspecifically grabbing one. We'll bring it back for them because these guys are definitely getting a little bit hungry. Now, we're likely to have a killer male show up soon as well. It has been a little while. So I would not be surprised if that happens in this episode. But... Uh, I would also not be surprised if the cubs reach adulthood in this episode. Uh, it generally seems to take about two hours for that to happen, but uh, and I think it has been about that amount. So, yeah, I was I was trying to go back and total it up, and it does seem like it takes roughly two hours for each stage. So that that seems about right to me. Now there's there's lots of of enemies here. Oh, there's wolves right here on the on the slope. Okay, we'll take these guys down. Is that another wolf? It is another wolf. Oh my goodness. Is that another? There's another. There's like two wolf packs here, I think, or something insane. Yeah, cuz they we saw them take down the pack leader of another pack. Holy cow, you guys. This is insane. I'm amazed we've had to fight this much. All right, what is it? Oh, it's an eagle. Okay. Well, let's fight this guy and take him out. Oh, can we get him? There we go. We got him. And nobody down by the den. Let's go mark the territory. We'll mark the tree. I don't want... I don't... I don't want... Uh, I don't want anything bad happening. Hit the wrong button there. So, let's make sure that we keep this well marked. And... Yeah, I think for the most part we're fairly safe. So let's go ahead. Oh, that's a bison. I ran right into him. Well, we'll take him out anyway, I guess. But I am going to go up here and see what's actually happening because I do see some sort of predator up here and I don't know what it is. So it could be a fox. And the foxes are the... Honestly, the foxes are some of the most dangerous predators in this game. They're not... Um, what is it? I can't see. It's a bear, isn't it? 
It's a bear. All right, we'll, we'll take this guy out. But yeah, the foxes are some of the most dangerous predators in the game because they're so fast. Like, even when you have a high speed stat, you can't really outrun them. Oh, I went the wrong way. Okay, well, we, we gotta go back around then. And I guess we'll just kind of sweep through here and maybe try... Oh, no! Okay, get back, get home. Okay, we're not going to... We're, we're just getting back as fast as we possibly can because... Where is he? He's in the lake. Okay, he's gonna be fighting something. I think we're still relatively safe, but we need to get back pronto so that we don't risk bad things happening to our to our cubs here. Okay, come back, you guys. Come back. Let's Let's go this way. Let's call everybody back. But yeah, we need to move it. Uh, we definitely do. I'm going to call everybody here. There's Autumn. And let's figure out. We're actually, we're just going to cross the river to the other den. So that's not too bad. But yeah, <laughs> things can escalate quickly in this game. And uh, yeah, it, 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 things happen fast. Things definitely happen fast. Okay, first things first. Also eat. Eat. Everybody eat. Are, are you going to eat, Ginger? Yes, there we go. All right, everybody follow again. But uh, I do think it is probably about time for them to age up anyway. So this should be our last journey. And if so, then we'll have done, for the first time ever, we'll have made it with all four, or with all three cubs. So we've made it once with one cub. We made it, wait. Oh, we have to go this way first. That's right. All right. We made it once with one cub, we made it once with zero cubs and had to start over. And so if this is the case, or if we manage to succeed here, this will be the first time with all three cubs making it safely to the, uh, to making it safely to adulthood. Now, whatever happens when these guys age up, assuming some of them are left, we're going to actually have the option to have Kira have another litter. So I think we're going to give each cougar up to three litters. And uh, if not, none of that, if none of their litters succeed, then I guess we'll probably try and follow one of their siblings or something, assuming they have a surviving sibling. If not, then we may have to restart the legacy and uh, try for a new one. But uh, what we're going to do is we'll have the chance to either vote between one of these three cubs becoming the heir immediately or... Um, having the uh having kira here have another litter and then possibly having an heir from that one don't worry if you vote for kira to have another litter then that doesn't mean that you have to vote for a cub from that litter uh if she does have another litter then we'll have uh potentially as many cubs as survive that plus as many as survive this one so we could have up to six cubs but you'll still have the chance to vote between any of them so even if you don't vote for one of these three if we do have another litter and you still decide you want to see one of these cubs be the heir then you will have that opportunity so but for now what we're going to do is i'll we'll provide that option if you want to see kira have another chance we'll give each uh, cougar a maximum of three litters just so that it doesn't get to be too crazy out of hand so that's three seasons for each of them potentially and uh i i do f uh oh <laughs> our kirk is just despawned i do feel kira probably will have another litter but um i don't we, we whether or not we see it is what's going to be important here. It's kind of, again, I use this analogy a lot, but it's kind of like how researchers will radio collar an animal and they'll get to track it for a little while and they'll get to learn about it, but at some point they have to move on and uh, that collar will wear out or fall off and unless they manage to catch that animal again and recollar it, then that's the end of their story, uh, at least from what they, or from what we get to see. So we're not gonna haul this with us, I don't think. Are you guys all going to eat? Is everyone going to eat? Come here. Come here, you guys. What? Wait a sec. Okay, there's another rival. What happened? Come here. Come here. Okay. Everybody stay close. But yeah, so uh, whether or not we see it, I do feel Kira will probably go on to have another litter. And... Oh, no! No, 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 no. Oh, that's a fox. Okay. Okay, I panicked really bad there, you guys. Okay. Everybody stay close to me. Where where are the hunters? I think they're surrounding that rival there. We're gonna back up real slow. I see a fox. Um Okay. Somebody still needs food. I don't know who it is, but somebody still needs food. 
All right, there's a fox coming. I'm going to stop here. We'll let them eat. There's another fox coming down the mountain. Please eat. Whoever's starving, please eat. I don't think they did. There's a fox coming this way. There's another one that could potentially... There's one coming from behind us. There's one coming from behind us. Okay, we got it. We got it, and then that one ran off. Okay, everybody stop and eat. Somebody is starving. Seriously, stop and eat, you guys. Are they not going to eat? Somebody's not eating. There we go. Okay, call everybody back. We've got this one. I'm going to drop this carcass and crouch because we've got a fox coming in again. We're going to take this one down and get him. Get him, get him, get him. Okay, we got him just before he turned to run. Let's go ahead. We'll grab this carcass. Um, I'm going to eat one of the other carcasses we have here. I'm going to keep these guys very close because we have uh, definitely hunters on the way. So we need to move it before they cause us any problems. Oh, who's up here? All right, we got to go further this way anyway. So let's just hug the water and if we're very cautious, we should be able to make it. But anyway, what I was saying is, you guys will get to choose how much we observe. And out of the ones we observe will be... No! No! No, 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 no! No, get out of here, okay? Uh, we're gonna... We'll deal with that guy next time he comes back, because he will. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll... You get to choose how many we observe. And out of the ones we observe, you'll get to choose who we follow next. So, let's keep going. That is a hair. We're gonna be fine. We're, we're safe. Um, I don't want to focus on this guy. There is another fox following us, I'm pretty sure. I think that one is still going after us. This guy's going to keep moving, but we need to now get to the other, um, the other bridge. So this fox is going to come charging in at any second here. We just need to be ready for it. Let's keep going. Is he still following us? Oh, we've... We need to go farther this way to get to the bridge, though. I thought we had to turn already, but no, we definitely do not. And is the killer male? He's still stuck in the water, so I don't think we're going to have to worry about him. Let's pause here, though, and I will let these guys stop and eat. All right, they all, they all ate. <laughs> that was fast. They finally cooperated with eating on schedule. So let's keep moving. I think we're going to be all right. We just need to keep our cool and keep going. But the, but the trouble with foxes, as I believe I was saying earlier, um, is that they follow you at such a distance. And so you can think you've shaken them, but they just trail you. And then they come out of nowhere and they're so fast that uh, it can be next to impossible to actually evade them. Oh, there's somebody right on the other side, too. What's going on over here? Is that a hunting dog? I think that's a hunting dog. Oh, this is a big problem. This is a big problem. Alright, I'm gonna drop this here. I think I'm gonna have these guys stay here. And I'm gonna run ahead to investigate what's going on over here. So, who is this? Who's right here? I think... Oh, it's a wolf. Okay. Not a hunting dog, but still bad news. So, hunters are probably the biggest thing that can cause problems for you in this game, but wolves are a very close second. They're not as dangerous to you, but they're very, very, very dangerous to your cubs. So yeah, hunters are really bad. Wolves are also pretty bad, so they're, they're not something you want to mess around with, that's for sure. If we go this way, there's two more right up here. I'm just going to clear them out because I don't want them attacking me out of nowhere as we're trying to pass by. Okay, there's a wolf. And you can go and uh, you can you can die. We're, we, we don't need you causing problems. Uh, and we'll go ahead and take this guy down too. So we'll finish this guy off. Uh, on the easiest difficulty, most of these predators don't tend to cause you too many problems. It's more a threat to your cubs. But given that we've never actually successfully finished this with all three cubs alive, uh, it's still a pretty significant challenge. And so it's definitely going to be interesting when we get to the point of... Um, uh, of, of upping the ante and playing on a harder difficulty. So let's go ahead. We'll call everybody close to us. I want to grab this carcass so that we have some food to come with us. They're all full right now, but they're not going to stay that way. So let's keep moving. 
Oh man, you guys, <laughs> this is definitely pretty tense. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's uh, it's left me a little bit jumpy, so let's keep going. We do have some predators, and I think they probably are wolves, but we don't have a, there's not enough of them for it to be a significant issue, I don't think. It's usually with the wolves when they gang up on you. The hunters are just dangerous in general because they're so powerful. Uh, they can do a huge amount of damage very, very quickly, and that, of course, can be a big issue. So I don't see who's up ahead here. All right, there's something. Oh, it's an eagle. Okay. This guy we can deal with. Uh, catch his attention. What? Oh, it's a fox. Oh, it's a fox. Okay, well, we need to go this way. There's another eagle, though. Okay, we've got to deal with the fox first. Because I can't fight an eagle and a fox at once. Okay, he's down by the river. He's gonna come back, though. So let's drop our carcass. We'll slink after him here and see if we can take him out. Uh, I do see him slinking along ahead of me here. But if he sees our cubs, he's going to charge the... No, he ran away from us again. Darn it. Okay. Well, we gotta go back then. He went this way. We are we are stalking, but I guess he must have uh, we must have not been at the proper angle. So he is right at the edge of the bridge there. As long as we stay lined up, we'll be okay. Oh, he's cro oh he's crossing. Okay, I think we're gonna be safe then. So let's come back this way. We'll keep moving. If he does come out of nowhere, I'm going to be extremely upset. But I don't think he is. I think he's actually going the other way now. So I think we're all right. But uh, let's actually stop and feed everyone real fast. They all ate. That's good news. Let's keep moving. The rivals are all on the other side. Well, they're not all on the other other side of the map, but they're not near us. So they're, they're, they're far enough away that I don't think we're going to have any uh, significant trouble from them, at least at this point, unless one spawns right nearby. But I do want to mark this tree so that that doesn't happen. Let's go ahead. Oh, I no, 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 no. Okay, what's going on? What's happening? Oh, it's an eagle. Okay, get, no, get out of here. Did you attack my cub? Excuse me? No, get away, get away. All right, we can go ahead. Oh, we ate. I wanted to, to mark territory. I want to mark territory. Let me mark territory, please. Oh my goodness. I thought I thought that eagle had actually hurt one of the cubs for a second there. Did we manage to mark it? We did. Okay. Let's grab the eagle carcass because that's a fresher one. And we'll keep going. We're between two enemies. So we're going to go this way. It's another eagle. I can see it flying. That's a horse. We're going to keep walking. I don't I don't care about the horse. The horse is not going to be what we're after. Uh okay, this guy is going to attack. All right, we can we can take him out. Oh no, 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 no. Do not hurt my babies. Do not hurt my babies. Okay, we took it down. I was worried it was going to attack the cubs while it was like that because they're very hard to catch. So let's keep going. I think that other predator is an eagle, so we should be able to just keep moving and hopefully skirt around it. And then we'll make it to what's hopefully our last den here, because uh, these guys are, um, they're, they're almost grown. So, I do, uh, what I was going to say earlier, too, is we've had enough trouble even on the easiest difficulty. It can be significantly harder than this, and uh, I do plan on increasing the difficulty if we manage to uh, make it uh, successfully with one litter. Now, I don't know if I'll handle that by increasing the difficulty for the cub we choose to follow, or if we choose to follow Kira again, if I'll do it for, um, for her as well, but we'll see. So, is he on land? No, I thought the I thought the uh, killer male was back on land for a second. I thought maybe we really needed to hurry, but uh, we just need to make sure these guys stay fed. And I think we can walk, and they'll keep up with us. Uh, they don't seem to be getting left behind, at least, so we should be able to make it back to the den. But uh, in any case, I will be upping the difficulty, so it's not quite as easy. Not to say that it has been, but it'll be even harder than it is already. Because once we prove that we can make it on a certain difficulty, I, I don't want to I don't want to stay on the lower difficulty. I want to make it a little bit tougher so that it's a bit more of a challenge here. Now, I think the den is just over this hill. And then we should have some time to kind of just chill out, 
we might have a, a, another episode, actually. I didn't think we were going to. And uh, if we do, I'm pretty sure they'll definitely age up in the next episode because it has been somewhere around two hours. But I think what may have happened is that we died at some point after we had our cubs or after we had our cubs age up to this stage. And so they uh, they might be um, they might be not quite to that two hour mark. It, I think it is based off of two hour segments. At least that's what it seems like. So we'll get back to the den, and I think we'll be safe here. So let's drop this here. I'll leave the cubs here, and we don't have any predators lurking around right now, at least. We've definitely been at this den before, and I think I want to explore the lower dens some more because we never go to those, We and I don't know if it'll, it'll actually start assigning those to us or not. It doesn't seem to favor them. But it would be interesting to check those out next time we play. Maybe maybe we'll have to do that. But for now, there's really not too much going on here. So I think we are going to go ahead and end up end off the episode here because it is about that time again. So we'll have one more episode of Untamed probably. Uh, could be more. But I think we're probably just going to end up with one. And uh, hopefully these guys will continue to survive. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.